All right, so right here's the coolant temp sensor. Obviously, you don't necessarily have to take off the air filter box. We took it off just for the video purposes, so you can see. Here's the connector. Grab your small pocket screwdriver. Release that clip, and then this should draw up and off. Now we're going to remove this. It's important to remember the coolant's going to come out, so make sure you're wearing all your safety gear and you have your collection bucket underneath. getting pretty loose. I can see coolant coming out. I'm going to get my new one ready. I want to take a quick uh, peek, make sure it matches up, and then I'm going to put it right in so I don't lose too much coolant. Looks right. Put it right in there. Now we're going to snug it up. It's important to remember that it doesn't actually bottom out against the engine. You want to go approximately halfway down. further here. All right, it's in the approximate direction that it already was. It's not completely bottomed out, but it's definitely threaded in. That looks great. Let's grab that electrical connector, take a peek. Looks good as well. Plug it in. Okay, so the next thing you'd want to do is fill up your cooling system.